Um, okay, so part two is a lot of you guys had asked me about my you know recipe for um, turkey meatballs, and honest to God, it's it's almost not a recipe. I certainly don't have anything written down, but like right now, I've got two of these thawing, and this is not usually the brand that I use. This is this was on sale at Costco, so I think I got four of these, and they ended up being about three fifty each package, which is cheaper than normally these. Like if I get these at Super Target. The Genio Extra Lean, that's what I try to get is the Extra Lean. They're about $4 a package. But anyway, I got these on sale, so I will defrost like two of these packages. Um, so I'm leaving them here in my sink to defrost. Um, and then when they're defrosted, I'm hot. How can I be hot? It's 22 degrees out. Jackie, we are two alike. Um, so I put them in a, in a bowl, and then I usually, for two packages, I'll take three eggs, beat it up in a bowl, and add that. Um, I just sprinkle breadcrumbs over it. I'll show you. Hold on. Um, I use this. And yeah, it's carbs, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is the kind of stuff that going forward, I, I cannot live this way where I'm like, oh my god, I'm putting carbs in. I can't, I can't live that way. Now, if I go for 30 days and I'm having this stuff and, and I haven't moved, made any progress, yes, I will come back and evaluate. But in the past, um, like I said, I can tend to eat things like meatballs or steak once in a while. And, and you know, everybody's body responds differently. For me, um, and a couple of you had written in too, you know, I tend to do okay on a bit more of a high protein, um, a little bit higher fat content. Um, what tends to not work well with me is any kind of fake foods, which is why for the time being I'm cutting out um, the protein bars and the protein shakes. and. Um, in the past, I don't know why. I, I don't know if this has anything to do with it because it's a completely clean food. But in the past, I was never having oatmeal. So for a while, I'm cutting out the oatmeal um, just to see. I mean, and then I'll add it back in slowly. Um, but I want to go back to what I know works with my body, um, stay on a program, stay solid, not give up, not panic for 30 days, track everything for 30 days, see how I'm doing. Um, you know, and, and of course, in the midst of all this, my body is also adjusting. Um, back off the pill. I was finally able to put my rings on the other day. Remember I told you guys that I went to put my rings on and they were, my hand, my fingers were so swollen. Never have that, never have, had, have I had that happen where I couldn't even get my own rings on. Um, but anyway, back to the turkey meat, meatballs. So I take two of those packages, once they're thawed, put them in the bowl, put about two or three eggs beaten up. Um, and, and I'd encourage all of you guys, don't when you're making something like that, you know, especially if you're using the extra lean turkey, don't get all fat free. And I'm not the expert. I'm not in, um, you know, an 8% body fat. But personally, I, I just, I think that going uber fat free is is not necessarily ideal. Um, so you add the eggs. I, I just, I literally will just take this and kind of sprinkle it on the top. I don't measure it. I'm guessing maybe half a cup at the most for a huge batch that will probably give me, I don't know, 10 meals for a single serving. I'm, I'm guessing. Um, and then, um, let's see, just put, I put garlic salt, oregano, basil, and parsley. Um, and again, I just sprinkle that on the top, you know, a good shake. And then salt and pepper. No, not salt, because I'm putting garlic salt in, just a little pepper. Um, I think really that's it. If you wanted to, maybe you could put some Worcestershire in there, but I don't. Um, I think really that's it. And then I mix it up with my hands, make sure that you mix it up all together. Uh, put your meatballs together. And then what I do is I like to um, sear them. So I, I heat a pot of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, on the stove, and then put the meatballs in there, get them seared on all sides, on all sides. And then because I'm very paranoid about salmonella and all that stuff, um, I'll take them, because they're still not cooked on the inside, and put them in the microwave for five minutes, like one plate of them for five minutes on power level three. And then they're pretty much cooked. They're still not where I would feel comfortable eating them. Again, with poultry, you've got to be careful. So that's when I put them in the sauce and let them sit in the sauce to cook for, you know, four or five hours all day. Um, the sauce, I mean, seriously, all I do is I take canned, two big cans, I mean the big cans, of um, the chopped tomatoes, one big can if, of tomato sauce, and then I'll put two of the sm small cans of the tomato paste. So that's the basis of my sauce. And then I put, again, the same spices in there. Uh, garlic salt, salt, excuse me, garlic salt, 
oregano, parsley, and basil, um, and then a couple bay leaves, and I throw some olive oil in there. If you're comfortable with it, I usually do put a little bit of red wine because the alcohol content is going to cook out of it, but it adds some nice flavor. Um, if you wanted to, you could just keep it like that. If you want to make it a little richer tasting, you can put some butter in it. It's totally up to you. If you're fat phobic um, with that, um, you don't have to. I put a lot less in this time. Um, I just think it tends to make it a little bit... When I really go nutty and I'm really cooking like a lasagna or whatever, I not only put butter in my sauce, but also heavy cream. And that makes it awesome. But I don't do that for this one. So it's your choice. I think you could easily make a great tasting sauce um, without adding the wine if you're not comfortable with that and without adding the um, butter. But, um, you know, I tend to, and again, for my purposes, um, I tend to be okay with a little bit more fat um, in my food um, as opposed to, you know, other people who might really, really, really want to keep everything fat free. I, I would never try to be all fat free, like egg whites, extra lean turkey, and um, you know, no, no fattening dressings or something. I agree with Jackie on that point that you've got to have some fat, um, you know, and try to keep it obviously at the good fat. So I'm not the expert, but that's been based on, on what I've read, what my experience is with my body. And, you know, you've got to go for what you know and what works for your body. Sometimes it takes a while to figure that out. Um, but anyway, so that's, that's it. And then I let the meatballs cook on the stove all day. And like I said, I'll keep that in my fridge and that makes me meals, like I said, for probably, I'm guessing like 10 meals out of that. Um, so it's pretty good. Um, but that's it. So a lot of you guys had asked me about that. So I wanted to share with you. It's not really a recipe, but if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and then this week, I really would like to get to the grocery store and try some of this new stuff that I've been seeing on all of you guys' sites. Um, but that's it. I really want to focus instead of saying, I'm not having this, I'm not having this. I mean, there's certain things that, yeah, I definitely am not having. And specifically, it's more about it's not good for my body. Like, you know, the past month or so when I've had those, um, I ate those Krispy Kremes that day. And um, when I had those Oreo Cakesters that one day, I mean, I just was sick. I was immediately like sick. It was it was horrible, and then it didn't taste good. So I want to focus on the good foods that I like that are good for me. Um, not get up every day going, I can't have this, I can't have this, I can't have this, and you know, trying to give myself a little bit of a break instead of just being such a freaking diet Nazi. No can do. Um, so that's it. I'm gonna go out and take a walk. I think and come back in, and I've got a couple clients I have to call and. Uh, that's it. Keep drinking your water. Did you take your vitamins? Take your vitamins today. Did you floss? I flossed and brushed my teeth today. Could I say? Um, that's it. And again, I welcome all your suggestions about the um, spawn of Satan that I live above. Love to hear your solutions on that. I will see you guys later. Bye.